Consciousness Exploration Perspectives on the campus of the IAC in Portugal. It was the first International Congress of Conscientiology. The main purpose of our um, studies here is to understand who we are as consciousnesses. Um, this thing that people call soul or spirit is the same that we call consciousness. When you look at the IAC and the work that they do, and if you talk to a lot of the individuals who are associated with it, you find people who are open-minded. They are also skeptical. That's what this conference is all about. The people are in there trying to say, here's how I think it works. And the other people will ask them questions. I don't see that. I don't think it works that way. And you'll see they are very interested in making science grow. Here we are talking about uh, phenomena which are really at the frontier where psychological effects are also present. So we have really to learn how to disentangle the objective phenomena from the phenomena which are constructed by our brain. One big question is, how is it possible that we disconnect from the body, but next every morning we wake up again? What we call this would be uh, conscientiology, which means multidimensional consciousness studies uh, from uh, like a first person and third person point of view. So attempting to be a bit more scientific in the way that we approach things. So what that means is that not appealing to dogmas from the past, not appealing to religion or mysticism, but rather looking to, you know, the kind of statistics of what people experience and then trying to draw conclusions from that. I'm here at IIC because I believe that consciousness is a fundamental capacity of human beings. The mediumistic limb is a temporary limb that the medium was able to grow and had the same property of natural limbs, the sensories and the motility, the capacity to move objects. The idea that we're bringing forward here in AC is that there is another level of reality which is extremely important for our well-being and for uh, life. We got so many prestigious scientists and college professors and different people from various fields, you know, to come here to the International Congress of Conscientiology because they are also interested in the topic of consciousness, and especially of trying to arrive sort of like at a better consensus of what it means to understand consciousness. What if I can go to another location, see what's happening there, and then confirm that what I saw really happened. So we're talking about the out-of-body experience as a spiritual practice, but also as a scientific instrument. We are basically getting evidences for the existence of the so-called prana, chi, organ, and this is halfway to the proof of uh, the consciousness as being independent from the physical brain. Would there be a Bill Gates a Steve Jobs, an Apple, a Microsoft, without you. Everybody has the same capacity, but not to extend to the extent of Sapia. So you have a field, energy field around you, and I do have the same field, and we can maneuver the field if we are placed in front of something that had to be moved. That's it. The main point with the out-of-body experience is to understand who we are in our essence and what we came here to do in this life. So understanding that is much more important than just producing the phenomena. The phenomena is used as a tool for us to understand what we came here to do and make sense of our lives as consciences, our soul, our spirits, living beings in this planet. Today, a lot of scientists are not paying enough attention to a number of phenomena which are really in need of an explanation. The problem is, if I don't consider certain phenomena as interesting, then of course I don't need to explain them. Sometimes I would be sleeping and I would be completely awake, looking at my body, and my siblings um, also lying down, sleeping, middle of the night. But I was very young, maybe about six or seven, so I would think, how can I be awake if I should be dreaming because I'm sleeping because I would see my body? So that always puzzled me. So the sleep paralysis happens 
every night to all of us. And this repeats in a cycle of about 90 minutes. But we are unconscious. But once in a while, we regain a little bit of lucidity and we find ourselves in that condition. The Second International Congress on Consciousness will be in Miami, Florida on May 19th to the 21st, 2017.